Look at that. Look at that bounce back. Yes. <laughs> up and welcome back to my channel today i have a review of this brazilian curly hair from beauty forever forever <laughs> from beauty forever hair i bought this wig on amazon prime on the beauty forever store with two day shipping through amazon prime it came super quick it was really easy to do and it was super affordable i will have the price on the screen so yeah you can't beat this price for some really pretty curly hair I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I refresh my curls in this video and do a little chit chat with you guys just to let you guys know how I feel about this hair. I know I did a really long series about this hair on my channel so I plucked the frontal, I showed you guys how I applied it, I showed you guys how I bleached the knots. So I do have a three part wig customization series on my channel so if you haven't watched that video Pause this and go ahead and go watch those videos. I'll have them all linked in the description box below. This just so happens to be the final outcome. It looks pretty good. So yeah, we're going to refresh these curls, define these curls, and I will give you guys all the tea about this wig. So let's just get right into it. Alrighty, so the first thing you're going to need is some water. <laughs> you're going to need some water. I go ahead and just use a spray bottle. And I spray the heck out of the hair. I pretty much wet it completely. And I try not to get too much of it on my clothes because that tends to happen. And I get all in between and in the back. Get it nice and wet. But not too wet because you really don't need it to be soaking wet. And it is winter time so I don't want y'all out here catching pneumonia because of me. <laughs> And the hair combs through really easily, as you guys can tell. I do get some tangles, as you guys can see. I do get some tangling. It's nothing too crazy. I slept on this wig last night. I woke up, I fluffed it out, and I went to work. So that is probably why I have these tangles in it. But as you guys can tell, they come out really easy with the tangle teaser. And you really only have to detangle this hair once a day. It's not something where you're going to get a bunch of matting and shedding and where the hair is like crawling up your neck like a beehive. You're not going to get that with this hair. I haven't had any experiences with that. I do, however, don't usually wear my wigs overnight. I normally would take them off. So I don't put in as much wear and tear on my hair as someone who would say sew it onto their head. I get, you know, the pretty average amount of tangling for curly hair. Once it's dry, obviously, it gets really big. So you might not be able to like completely run your fingers through it when it's dry. But as you guys can tell, it took me no more than two to three minutes to detangle it. Then I'm gonna go in with my Mark Anthony Kinky Girls with Wild Curls Sulfate Free Conditioner. I love how this stuff smells. It works really good. I actually use this on my natural hair as well. I picked this up from TJ Maxx for $10 and the regular price is $18.99. Anybody who knows me knows that I love TJ Maxx. So I take about this much and I go ahead and run it through the hair to define the curls for one. And for two, just to give it a nice smell, you don't want your wig smelling stale. You want it to smell like Whoops. You want your wig to smell like berries and fruits so that when guys walk past, they're like, yes, girl, you smell like the tropics. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that bounce back. Yes. The curls are really juicy, as you guys can see. It just gives a really pretty look. I love this wig. It's one of my throw on and go wigs. I hate having to do too much to a wig to make it look good. But this one, as you guys can tell, it's not even on. But it's on. <laughs> so yeah, this is what it looks like detangled. And this is what it looks like dry. But as you guys can tell, the curls are really bouncy. The hair has a really beautiful luster when it's dry as well. As you guys can tell, it's not super shiny, but it's not dry at the same time. It looks like a natural curl. You know, people think that this is my hair because it's a natural length. And people are also retarded because they should know that this isn't my hair. I just want to show you guys what it would look like 
if you decide to like low key comb out the curls or like fluff it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I prefer to wear my curly hair more defined, but if you do want to brush it out and wear it like more wild and free, I just want to give you guys that option and show y'all what it looks like. So I'm just detangling it dry right now to comb it out and give it that lion mane effect. Yeah, this is what it looks like fluffed out and combed out. This is also really pretty and it does make the hair look a lot thicker. So if you wanted to comb it out like this and then spritz a little bit of water and scrunch it, this would be a look as well. But obviously for the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and define the curls on this side the same way that I did on the other side. Like I said, I do get some tangling. I'm not going to say that there's no tangling. Obviously with curly hair, you should expect some type of tangling it's not going to be tangle free but what we don't want is matting shedding where the hair is like crawling up like this and you really can't comb it out and you have to comb it out three or four times a day to keep it looking decent this hair is very low maintenance for it to be curly hair because everyone knows that curly hair is among the higher maintenance of hairs because obviously you have to comb it out every night Make sure you take good care of it. You can't just sleep with it out wild and free and think that it's going to look like this in the morning when you wake up. So yeah, this is basically what I do to define the curls. As you guys can tell, they look really, really good, really juicy. This hair literally reminds me of one of my friend's hair. Sarah's hair literally looks like this. If you guys don't know Sarah... I will have her channel linked in the description box below. Go ahead and subscribe to her because her hair literally looks like this and it's not a wig. So <laughs> go subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. A lot of people know that I always say clayey hair is my favorite curly hair on the market. And that is true. But this curly hair is a close, close second. Like they are almost on the same level. I would definitely say that this hair is really soft and it's definitely super manageable. It doesn't take very long to comb out. It looks really nice. The wig is constructed so beautifully. Like The hair looks freaking gorgeous. Like what more can you ask for for some like really affordable, great quality hair? I just wanted to come and update you guys because I don't like to jump the gun with my hair reviews and just come and tell y'all to go buy something before I have tried it on my own. I need to try it, test it out, and make sure that it's solid before I give you guys a thumbs up. But this hair gets two big thumbs up. I definitely would say if you're on the market for a nice mid-length curly wig that's not super long and hard to manage, this is the wig for you. As you guys can tell, it has body, it has bounce. It moves when I move. It doesn't, you know, get stiff and stuck. It looks really good. And I don't know. That, I think, you guys can see for yourself how the hair behaves. It looks really good. And I've been wearing this wig on and off because I did want to make sure I really, really tested it out before I told you guys to go and buy it. I will leave the link to their Amazon store and the link to the specific wig down below make sure you use my link because i do get commission on any sales i make using my amazon affiliate links so if you go ahead and purchase this wig you know just make sure you use my link down in the description box below because yeah help your girl get her coin don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already we are super close to 1200 subscribers on the road to 2000 so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i think we're about to hit 1,200 or we're super close. I don't know. But make sure you subscribe, okay? Because most of the people who watch me are not subscribed. And don't forget to turn on your post notifications and join the notification gang. You turn on your post notifications and leave me a comment down below telling me that you're done. Hashtag notification squad. I will shout you out in my next video. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So please be on the lookout on all of those days for a new upload. I normally drop them at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay? I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye!